welcome back guys to my second part of the um, season review that I'm doing on this channel. Uh, I'm going to move now on to Newcastle who have been relegated just like Villa. Uh, I mean they spent loads in January, I think it was like 80 million. Still couldn't uh, save them. Brought in Rafa Benitez too soon, uh, too late I personally believe. And I think they were already relegated before he came in, personally. Uh, but they're now in the championship alongside Villa. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty bad for Newcastle. Because they were once an amazing team in the Prem. And used to be fighting for titles year after year. Now on to Norwich. Who, just like Newcastle and Villa, have been relegated. I'm not too sure on their team, like I don't really follow Norwich that much. All I know is that they had a pretty decent campaign, uh, but not good enough. And they have been relegated uh, to the Championship, where they just came up from. So that's pretty bad for them, because they haven't been able to keep themselves in the Prem and avoid the drop. So moving on to the next team. The next team is Southampton, They're an, they've been an amazing team this year, uh, Ronald Koeman's been an amazing manager and they've got a decent squad and with that decent squad they've managed to secure uh, Champions, uh, no not Champions League, Europa League football next year and finishing fifth which I think is amazing for Southampton and I think they're going to be a decent squad in the future and they're definitely a squad full of potential now Spurs who have been amazing this year they've deserved every bit of success that they have got they didn't get any like trophies or anything but they managed to secure third uh, they could have tried and they were second but until they were second until the last day of the season where Arsenal Pipped them to second as they got embarrassed by Newcastle and lost 5-1 to a team that were already relegated. And I think that's absolutely embarrassing. I think they just took their foot off the pedal after the Chelsea game when they knew it was mathematically impossible to win the league. So I think they just took their foot off the pedal and forgot about finishing above Arsenal, which they have never done in the league. And they haven't this year and they finished third now Stoke have been like Crystal Palace they were fighting for European football at the start of the season about March time a bit later than um, a Crystal Palace uh, Jack Butland their goalkeeper got an injury and I think this is the main reason why they uh, started to dip in form uh, as soon as he got the injury, they started turning absolute rubbish. And they couldn't win a game. Uh, I mean, they won games, but they couldn't keep their form consistent. And their end result from the league is pretty disappointing from how the league actually started for Stoke. Sunderland, just like Newcastle, were fighting for survival, managed to get survival. Uh, they brought the manager in at the right time, I think, Sam Allardyce, who has never really been relegated with a club. Uh, their main man up top, Jermaine Defoe, has been absolutely amazing for them. And I think he's one of the reasons why they've stayed up. And he's been an absolute beast of a striker. And he's just proven that he's still got it and I think he's a bit unfortunate that he never got into the England team for the Euros but uh, I can't I don't pick the team but if I could I would put Defoe in it uh, but yeah Sunderland scraped relegation just scrape yeah scrape relegation and relegated their rivals Newcastle Swansea I'm not going to talk much about them other than they've been mid-table all season. They started the season off well. Everyone thought Montero or you Sigurdsson. They'll light up, the, light up the league this year. Didn't. And they just dropped in form. And just turned out to be regular Swansea. Their new manager. I'm not going to pronounce their name. His name's like 
Squid Luary or something like that. Um, he's come in, he's kept them up, and he's managed to get a new contract with them, and he's going to try and rebuild uh, Swansea slowly and try and get them in, up into the top half of the table consistently year after year. Now on to Watford, who, like um, Bournemouth and Norwich, was they were he, Watford were promoted, um, and they've done decent. They have done decent this year, and they've proved themselves that they can stay in the league. They have stayed in the league, and they nearly got to an FA Cup set, no FA Cup final. But they lost out to Crystal Palace, who are going to the final. Um, and Watford are now parting company with their manager, uh, Kiko Ch Sanchez Flores, who I think guided them well. And I think he's a bit unfortunate that he's lost his job at Watford. But I think they just want to change and want a bit more push from the team, uh, which is understandable. But I think uh, Kiko, Ch Sa Kiko Sanchez Flores was just hoping for survival and that's what he got. Second to last was West Brom. Uh, West Brom, I don't really know much about them. They've just been the average West Brom mid-table team. Eighth, ninth, I think they've finished this year. No, they haven't finished eighth, ninth. I think they've finished like 14th. I am unaware where they've finished. They are a local team to me. And... I think West Brom are just happy to stay in the league and I just think they need to improve, need to sack Pulis and get a new manager uh, and hope and push next season and hopefully uh, get a better result from the league and prove that they are a good team in the league. Last but not least, it's the team that have played their final season at the bowling. It's Payet FC. I'm only joking. It's West Ham United. They have played their final season at the bowling. And I think it's been an amazing way to say goodbye. They've been pushing for Europe. I think they have got uh, Europa League football. I am aware. Uh, but I think it's all because of this man. As I said at the start. Payet. He's been an amazing signing for them. And he's lit the bowling on fire and he's just proved to be an amazing signing and I think personally he's the signing of the season uh, so yeah that's my little season recap video all done I've done all 20 teams the uh, first 10 were in last episode in part one and then all these were on part two this episode hope you have enjoyed it and if you have, please leave a like and do subscribe if you are new around here so you do not miss out on any of my content. And I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.